The lion and the lioness are at tranquil and peace. These were the moments they are living for. A pack of foxes and wolves are passing that way. They realize oh, the presence yeah. of the lion and the lioness. Soon the pack ran to attack the couple while the lioness panicked. The lion has tried his best to protect his woman and has yeeted every attacker. My lady, I think it is time. <gasps> oh no! Soon, the lioness gave birth to four healthy cubs. My lady, I don't think it's safer here. Those losers might attack us again. Let's move to a newer place. The lion family, along with their kids, were crossing the bridge, slowly walking themselves into a land they have never seen before, all to protect the kids from their enemies. Soon, the lion family arrived in a new jungle. Welcome to new home, family. There was a hippopotamus and a bear passing by the lion's place. They happen to be triggered to see them. What? They chase the family. The hippopotamus attacks a cub and now the new mom is tense. no option but to protect her other cubs, therefore they run. The lion returns back home to see his family what? missing. He quickly sets out to find them at jet speed. He sees his beloved family being chased by the two what? rascals. Therefore he sets out to protect his family. attacks the bear. The hippopotamus seems too aggressive, but the lion is determined to protect his family at any cost. One of their little lives has died. An irreparable loss. It was a special day for the calf. The day he was born has visited again. Good morning, bub. Can you take the door, please? We have something for you. He was greeted by warm birthday wishes and so many gifts. Happy birthday, young man! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> After a good greeting session, the birthday kid began playing with his friends. Some were adoring him from afar. <laughs> a man was occupied by watching television. And while a goat was carrying biscuits for the calves party, <gasps> he was diverted by the show running on television. The goat invited the animals. And soon all the animals at the party had gathered there to watch TV. The ball was thrown afar and while the calf went to get it, 
the sheep curiously looked at the animals. Even he ran to watch television. The cow returned with the ball and felt betrayed seeing all his friends at the neighbor's door. Hey, let's go home. I have fun events to play. How about this dart game, buddy boy? I hope the music is good. Few of the animals were occupied by the music while others were gossiping. The cow is ready to throw the dart. I'm sorry, but I have to leave. The cow felt guilty. As soon as the pig left, all the animals left too. They all were at the neighbor's window to watch TV. Meanwhile, a rat plushie <gasps> got the cow's attention. He tried his best to reach it but failed. He then took the balloon's support to fly and get the plushie. In that attempt, the calf flew even higher and finally the animals were alert. What? It's time to rescue the cow. The pig took balloons and went floating to get the cow. While other animals arranged a sheet for the cow to fall safely. But the cow was scared. The pig and the animals are trying their best. Finally, the pig has reached him. He popped the balloons while the cow held on to him. The cow was safely rescued by his friends. And a grand celebration took place on the occasion of his birthday. Welcome to the city zoo. Let's take a look at zoo animals. The lion, mandrill, deer, and finally the giraffe. The mandrill's eyes were upon the green switch. He aimed at it and all the cages got released. All the animals unitedly ran and escaped the zoo. The guard what? bear soon informed the headquarters. Emergency! The zoo animals have escaped from here. We need to find them and bring them here ASAP. <gasps> oh no! Don't you worry bear. I'll find all the zoo animals by the end of the day and bring it to you. I have a plan Mr. Gorilla. Let's send out a drone to the city and look for the animals. When we find any, you immediately run your truck there and catch them. According to the plan, the monkey had begun operating the drone to trace and find the zoo animals. I am now successfully flying the drone. And now I'm going to search for zoo animals. You better start already, Mr. Gorilla. The drone oh, is now yeah. going places to search for the zoo animals. It reached the zoo and found the deer near the zoo premises. They found the deer. It's near the zoo. Go soon and catch it. Before it escapes again, Mr. Gorilla, quick! We now successfully caught the deer and dropped her in its cage.
The drone continued the search and found the giraffe. I found the giraffe in someone else's farm. Go soon and catch it, Mr. Gorilla. Come on, quick! We now successfully caught the giraffe. and dropped her in its cage. The search continued to find the other two zoo animals. The lion is found on a road. Oh, I found the lion on a main road. Mr. Gorilla, go quick and catch it before it causes any trouble. The lion is not ready to reach out to me. How do I catch him now? We have arranged flesh of meat to trick the lion into the cage. Mr. Gorilla is certainly clever. We successfully caught the lion. Now it's time to drop him in its respective cage. Now we are left with finding the troublemaker mandrill only. What? And he is right opposite to the monkey. The monkey grew furious. Anyways, the search has ended. And now we are dropping the mandrill in its respective cage. It's finally time to rest for Mr. Gorilla and the monkey. There goes the bison. He loves to mind his business. There was a farm at a distance. The cow and pigs love their company too. But there's a lion eyeing at the farm from a distance. He's definitely plotting an attack. Oh, yeah! He took a quick jump to attack the sheep, but as long as the bison exists, that will never happen. What? The bison yeeted the lion so fiercely that he broke his jaw. Then came the tiger. He's planning to attack the farm animals too, but the bison is a very dutiful being. He's always aware. Come on guys, let's go grazing. He took his farm family to healthy grassland for fresh grass eating. There is this one calf that has come to drink some water. But noticing the calf the crocodile came to attack. Oh, yeah! The cat escaped the attack and began running away while the crocodile chased. The bison was oh, asleep no. but hearing the calf screams he realized it was in danger. The bison is back to his duty, and this time the wicked foxy wants to try his luck.
Before the foxy could even near the sheep, the bison yeeted him off. The bison has to think of a way to stop the wild animals from oh, continuously yeah. attacking. Let's unitedly attack them. I'll see how the bison will protect his animals. The bison took animals for grazing again and the wild animals had come to attack too. They all unitedly went for an attack but the bison caught them by chains. He then tied them to a tree in a deserted land where no one will rescue them. The monkey is riding a bicycle with mandrill at the back. And there's a wild bear cutting the trees. Upon running into the tree the monkey and mandrill flew into different directions. The monkey somehow got Yeeted into the elephant's butthole. What? Making him panic. The elephant grew hyper and began mopping the monkey upon the ground to get rid of him. The monkey must have what? seen dimensions meanwhile. The elephant grew mad and upon realizing this the monkey decided to escape. The elephant continued to what? follow. Poor monkey. In the meantime the mandrel fled towards the Mr. and Mrs. Gorilla's what? gate and somehow sneak their wine. Mrs. Gorilla has gone angry and began hitting Mr. Gorilla. This is the worst date you've ever taken me on. I'm leaving you. Mr. Gorilla is heartbroken and mainly he's furious. Mr. Gorilla began marching from there in search of the mandrill. The mandrill is celebrating by sneaking the wine. But in the meantime, he sees the elephant chasing the monkey. Then he spots Mr. Gorilla and begins to escape. Both the mandrill and the monkey are now terribly being chased by the elephant and gorilla. There's the hardworking bear. Trying to get passengers at his van and he's being unsuccessful. Poor him. The ant is cheering the disappointed bear. But in the meanwhile, the animals are furiously running past and accidentally kills the ant. Oh no! The bear is extremely angry at them. He began chasing them in the van but instead lost control and fell into the water. What? He lost his van too. And this made him unbearable. The cruel fox is attempting to attack the hens and their chicks. And there comes the furious animals marching towards the foxy. and eats him away saving the hens and their chicks. The chase continued until they reached the dead end. Oh no! The elephant and the gorilla were all set to smash their bones. 
Thanks for saving us. Or else the fox would have eaten us and our kids. That's completely fine. I'm happy that we are helpful. You both have escaped for now. Hooray! The hens and the chicks have interrupted all the animals are in a good mood now. <laughs> Seems like a pleasant day at the farm. Or maybe more than just pleasant. All these healthy and happy animals out there. And here comes the caretaker. Hey! Myself, Mandrill. And I'm always joyful. Here are my super fun farm animals. These are my super healthy cows. They entertain me so much. And I love them. They've got fabulous moves. Yeah. Funny, right? Here's our super enthusiastic mandrel taking the cows for grazing. Climbing on their back. Clearly someone is growing jealous seeing his joyous lifestyle. Gorilla it is. Look at him imagining it already. Oh wow! Let's just ask the mandrel for a cow! Gorilla is already here to convince the mandrel. Hey mandrel! I'm here to ask you if you can lend me some of your cows. What do you say? Ha ha! Never! I could never leave my farm animals with what? anyone! Mr. Gorilla is disappointed. But he's definitely determined about earning a cow. By any means. I'll definitely see you soon, Mandrel. Mr. Gorilla is marching somewhere. Seems like he's thirsty. He's here to drink water at a fresh river. Here's the magical fox. He can grant any wishes. A magical fox? Wow! I really want those healthy cows that Mandrill has. Okay, your wish has been granted. Foxy is performing magic. A magical gun. If you shoot this at Mandrill and his cows, you can freeze them into a statue. Cruel Gorilla. He's using the granted powers upon the magical fox. Perfect! It works! Now it's for Mandrill and the cows. Cruel Gorilla. The animals are going to graze again. He continued to freeze the cattle. However, Mandrill is alert. He escaped the beam. Mandrill saw who's shooting them. I'm not going to leave you, Mandrill! Mandrill grew furious. Mm, you cruel gorilla! I'll be teaching you a lesson today! Mandrill kept defending. Now Mandrill decided to attack. Mandrill what? broke his skull. Well deserved, Mr. Gorilla. Now it will be intense. Who's going to grab the freezing gun? It's Mandrill. Clever Mandrill. He froze Mr. Gorilla. Now he's going to defreeze all the frozen cattle animals by spraying water.
Easter has officially started the day. There's the monkey and the crazy cow. The monkey might have sprained his backbone by the cow's attack. He is extremely triggered. Seems like the Mr. Gorilla's apple farm has caught their attention. Did you look at Mr. Gorilla's apple farm? This seems so fresh and organic. Both the monkey and cow got down the pole and began marching there hastily. They arrived at the spot. And in the meanwhile a truck approached and delivered a few parcels and left. While leaving, a gift fell down from the truck. And the what? monkey and cow curiously got near. They decided to open it and found a ghost mask in it. Upon seeing the cow wearing the mask, the monkey has actually got tricked and fearfully left his house seeing the cow. <laughs> Don't be afraid, monkey. This mask is just too realistic. <laughs> Look at you being scared by it. Oh, I've actually got a plan. We can easily steal the apples now. Oh, yeah. The caretaker bear is relaxing well. While the cow and monkey are plotting to steal his apples, the cow began the play. What? They successfully scared the bear. He closed his door in fear. <laughs> and now the monkey and cow shamelessly began feeding on apples. <laughs> Mr. Gorilla what? has spotted them. Don't you ever come here against shameless animals? Seems like the monkey and cow are not going to give up. They decided to plot against the gorilla now. The cow has been scaring him. Oh no! While the monkey began jumping on his rooftop and banging on his doors to scare him more. They successfully scared Mr. Gorilla. <laughs> the cow and monkey began pranking the passers in the road too. <laughs> Mr. Gorilla has caught their play. I'm not going to leave this cruel animals. How dare they trick me? I'll have to teach them a lesson real quick. Mr. Gorilla has purchased a remote controlled ghost and sent them to the cow and monkey. They panicked upon seeing him. The ghost has attacked them. And they fearfully ran into the house. Seems like Mr. Gorilla successfully tricked them and taught them a lesson. On a very clear windy day at three swings back and forth. Walter Cows walked 
towards the tree slowly and on reaching upon the tree they start to eat. Leaves off the tree from either side right then calf walks and standing right in the middle. Now the calf turns towards the tree staring at the tree and the two cows intensely. The calf jumps heavily hoping to reach the tree's leaves for it to feed on. The cows look at the calf while pausing their feast on the leaves. I want to eat those leaves too. The cow shakes his head in disapproval for this. Sad and shakes his head in disappointment. The cows go back to eating the leaves on the tree. And our little cough has not decided to give up and jumps again and attempt to get some leaves. But this attempt goes in vain too. So the calf taps onto the other cows to speak with them and request for help. Please, I'm starving. The cows look at each other and not to themselves. The cow plucks out one leaf and goes to the little calf when the cows try to take the leaf from the cow's mouth. The cow pulled back the cow pulls back every time the calf tried to take the leaf from its mouth. Finally the cow eat to leaf without giving it to the poor calf and walks away. But the evil cows started to laugh among themselves. A really strong wind out of the sudden blows, moving the couch. And the tree itself with the wind fell down a leaf on the ground. And the calf goes towards it. But one of the cows goes behind it and blows the leaf away. What? The cow eats the leaf and walks away. Little calf is very upset that I couldn't even eat one leaf. Back to the tree. Another strong gust of wind blows. Making it difficult for the calf to even walk. As the wind shifts the cop's direction, it finds a leaf's talk to the stem of the tree where the calf has the easy access to eat it. But again the other cow pops up quickly and eats the leaf and walks away. Leaving the calf in disappointment yet again. <laughs> Another huge blow of wind springs blowing the two cows out of the places as they deserve. The wind bends the tree too much that it gets to the level of the calf. The clad moves towards the tree slowly and starts to eat all of the leaves that it possibly can. A happy ending. The cow and her babies are happily grazing. Meanwhile, the farmer is ready to start his day by adding a solution to his tomato farm. He adds the solution onto a tomato, but it isn't a good one, so he throws it. But its size increased. The calf was captivated by the tomato and ate one too, and he rapidly began growing in size. The mother and his what? siblings ran away in terror. Mother cow is hiding under a tractor. Seeing the giant calf, she's literally shaking. Mr. Gorilla is all set to begin his day. When the first thing he saw is a giant cow torturing its mother. He threw the tractor away and kicked his mom. He sees the gorilla, and now he's going to give him a hard time.
The farmer is returning to his place, and after a while he spots that the calf has grown so much in size. Oh no! It must have happened due to the tomato. This brat must have eaten it. Indeed, a bad solution. But I must do something really quick. Let's quickly prepare a solution. The farmer got the solution ready and ran to the spot. The farmer added a few drops onto another tomato and began calling the calf. Look out! Look out! He threw that onto the calf and he ate it and returned to its original size. The farmer immediately runs to check if the gorilla is alright. Thanks for saving my life! Oh, don't bother buddy. The calf is peacefully having a cup of tea but chaos kicks in. What? The farmer is hitting drums while the crows are eating veggies from the farm. Hearing the noise they all ran away except one crow that was reluctant. No matter any worse kind of noise the crow is reluctant to leave. The crow in turn insulted the farmer. Soon the cat came running, hearing the chaos. I don't know what you'll do, but I shouldn't see him here again. Now the calf is responsible to deal with this brat. <laughs> He's in the storeroom searching for a weapon, none other than a scarecrow. Even the sheep thinks it may work. The clever crow understood the plan. Before the calf could catch the crow he got away and the calf fell without a tire. The crow is having quite a lot of fun messing with animals. The calf tried his luck again but failed. He consistently tried but the birds got wings and it's a perk to escape. The farmer is peacefully relaxing at home while his calf is hustling to get the crow. The farm was ruined and the crow went into the hen's house. But the calf is determined to get him. While he was busy getting him out the crow stole his hat and began mocking the calf. The crow threw the calf and flew away. Meanwhile, the farmer got out and was shocked to see the mess created by the crow. Oh no! The crow went into a huge warehouse while the calf followed. The farmer saw this and to avoid much chaos he locked the calf and crow inside the house. The calf is trying to search for the crow while he is right above his head ready to throw the weight. But due to this the chain of a machine was relieved. Meanwhile the farmer is busy talking to the police to get the crow arrested. Yes sir, we will be right there to get the notorious guy. But the universe always shuts the bad guys and let the guys win.
A bucket fell onto the crow, and he's trapped under it. It was finally a victory. The crow is locked up in a cell and is taken to the police quarters. All right, I'll be taking my leave. But still the calf remained as an unsung hero. A pleasant and productive farm day is yet to begin. Mr. Gorilla woke up from sleep and is all set to start his day. While taking a look at the farm, he spotted a little sheep and went near it. It's supposed to stay inside the fence. Mr. Gorilla felt like the sheep was adorable and sat next to it while enjoying the climate. Shall we steal that sheep, Wolfie? The wolf has agreed and both began to match forward. You may be unsuccessful, let me do it instead. Somehow the wolf has agreed and handed over the rope. As expected, Foxy has managed to catch the wrong guy. He's a troublemaker what? indeed. <laughs> You're nothing less than a troublemaker. <laughs> Mr. Gorilla peeked into their souls and began to chase them already. Mr. Gorilla kept chasing for a while and decided to knock them out by pelting a stone at them. Poor him. It has hit what? the bear instead. Oh, no! The bear got furious. And now Mr. Gorilla has got to run for his life while the bear will chase him. All the four animals are continuously running for life. And meanwhile, a monkey started to watch them from afar. The bear has paused. Seems like he's got an idea. Oh, yeah. He pelted a stone at Mr. Gorilla. What? Hoping it would hit him, but it hit the monkey instead. What? Poor monkey had fallen from the tree. And now he furiously began to chase the bear. Foxy and Wolf couldn't move forward. What? But instead they moved away. And Mr. Gorilla kicked the tree instead. Poor him. It seems like the bear is approaching. Mr. Gorilla has moved away, and the bear ran against the tree instead. The chase has re-begun, and the animals are madly escaping and chasing each other. The animals are in a rush and they might be harmed soon. Foxy and the wolf blindly kept running, what? and they couldn't anymore, until they realized, Mr. Gorilla has fallen into the bottom too. Also in the meantime, the bear and monkey what? somehow fell too. The funny animals soon started to wrestle against each other, and soon at the end of the day, everyone might get their bones dislocated. A pleasant farm day at Mr. Bear's farm. His cattle look peaceful. There the neighboring gorilla just got out of his sleep. And is all set to start his day. Mr. Bear's cattle are already actively moving while he just got out to begin his day. 
Hello and good morning, Mr. Bear. Have a great day. Morning, and you too, Mr. Gorilla. The gorilla continued to take care of his apple farm, while Mr. Bear began feeding his cattle. This is their routine. Soon it's monsoon, and the rains keep pouring. Mr. Bear's cattle are given a break from grazing. Mr. Bear sat relaxing under his shed. What? And Mr. Crazy Gorilla started watering the plants under heavy rain. Mr. Bear couldn't believe this. Soon the entire town started to flood. Mr. Gorilla is stuck under his shed and kept looking at the thunderstorms. His whole farm is damaged. And Mr. Bear cattle animals are drowning in the flood water. I need your help to save the cattle, Mr. Gorilla. Take a look around. Is there any safe place to shift the cattle? There is an island at some distance. Let's shift the cattle there. Mr. Gorilla has few bamboos in his oh, farm. Yeah. He quickly built a raft and placed the cattle animals on it. They began pushing the raft towards the island. The whole town sank under the floods. It's never too late. Let's start our new life here. You can graze your cattle here too. Mr. Bear brought bamboo. And Mr. Gorilla began construction work. Soon he has built cattle and house using bamboos. And hence new beginnings. Oh yeah! There's a helicopter passing through the river right now. It stopped and dropped some guy there. Who seemed like a rich billionaire. Now here are the farm animals chilling on a pleasant day. And Mr. Gorilla is having a meditation session. It feels like I have already seeked enlightenment. Okay, time to work, I guess. Mr. Gorilla is now filling up the milk cans. And each can takes each cow. He has now filled up three milk cans and placed them safely. Oh, yeah! 
A rat is entering the farm hastily. It has been stopped by the cow from entering. But the rat is disrespecting the cow and tries to harm him. But he eats it into a pool of water. The cow is still angry and furious. And it began harming the other cows too. Oh no! Meanwhile, a cat quickly ran and reached out to the gorilla. What happened, dear? Any problem? That angry cow is attacking all the farm cows there. Please come as soon as possible and save us. What? Mr. Gorilla came there to check the condition of the cow and felt sad. He began thinking of a solution and something striped. He has now built a well-furnished fence around the cow farm. So no one could enter and the cows couldn't leave too. The rich guy has observed the farm from a distance and felt guilty and decided to steal from there. Oh, yeah! He ran into the farm and saw Mr. Gorilla sleeping and decided to steal the milk. He took the can and started running, but while running he stopped behind the cow and started kicking the fence right behind it. Its eyes were burning red seeing him. What? It began attacking the fence and harming itself. Mr. Gorilla woke up to the sounds and oh came no! out. He spotted the thief, and while the thief began running away with the cans, Mr. Gorilla is unsuccessful in catching him. He started to think of a plan and it striped. If I remove the fence gate, the angry cow will take care. Mr. Gorilla got there and removed the fence. Teach him a lesson if he comes again. The cow agreed. Oh, yeah! The thief is here to rob the next kin from the farm. He entered the farm and plans to take that away. But the cow has already started him and its eyes got so red. It's preparing to attack him. It yeets at the thief into the door. And Mr. Gorilla woke up to the sound and approached the cow. The morning hush. Each rock and bush stands hard and high and raw. Let's look at a magical tale deep in the jungle plush. Elephant and monkey are best friends. Both are relaxing and enjoying the cool breeze. Hey monkey, I'm hungry. I need some food. I guess I'm hungry too. Hmm. Idea. You stay right here. I'll go and bring some food. Monkey is off to get some food and returns to Elephant his friend with a basket full of delicious apples for both. Hey friend, look. 
I bought some nice and delicious apples for both of us. Let's eat. Oh, yummy. While both the friends were busy relishing on their food, each of them were left with one apple each. Suddenly, they were struck by a lightning. Wow! I feel dizzy. Yeah, me too. Both fainted off and lay on the ground until they gained their consciousness back. Ah, huh? how did you get so small? What? Oh no! Oh no! Help! Looks like the lightning has done something to us. Let's go. Banana, let's get some. <laughs> oh no, I'm growing smaller and smaller. Do something, monkey. <laughs> let's wait for the lightning again and hope it will bring back us to normal. Let's be in the same position with the two apples and see. Oh God, please help us. The lighting struck again and turned the apples into colored different ones. Here you go, elephant. Eat it. I'll eat mine. Both the friends are back to normal, sitting and relaxing once again. It is the fall month. The cold prevails. Most of them prefer to stay at home during the season. Like the young calf who is enjoying its favorite show with french fries. And there is his dad who always keeps a check on the place for safety. And always sticks by the family. The mother felt bad that she couldn't understand her husband. The worst situation the rich calf could fall into is being unable to use the toilet on time. But here his dad has witnessed a group of lions assemble to attack their barn. The what? dad immediately ran inside the house out of terror. What is happening to you? Why are you in a hurry? The mother cow then turned to see a bunch of hungry lions assembled to be fed on the cows. Oh no! But the dad thought of a plan. I'll take care of this deer. Before the lion could attack, the dad what? threw the food onto the lions. And the lions were engaged in a terrible competition to eat much food.
They look so dumb. We should trick them somehow. The mother brought a wooden box where the dad stood and teased the lions about the height. He successfully manipulated the lions. He thinks that he's tall. Come on, stand on me. Let's prove who's tall. A lion stands upon the other and reaches a maximum height. The mother went inside the house and got a much higher table. The dad stood on it and now he's the taller one. Lion by lion kept adding while the cow helped the young cow by adding things. The saga continued and the dad and the mother cow what? were shaken. <gasps> oh no! The young calf successfully attended the nature calls and came what? out to see that the household went missing. The calf quickly got out to see the whole household and his dad on the top. Go quickly climb on your dad! <laughs> the sun announced the trumpet of victory. All the lions fell as a sign of defeat and they couldn't tolerate the trumpet. and the victory so they ran away from the cow family.